knew what they created, they, they'd be proud. It makes me feel privileged to be here at an institution where we have the great founders of medicine. Mayo was built on the concept that the patient comes first. And it's not a slogan, it's not a motto, it's the reality of the clinic and it's what makes the clinic great. There's hardly anyone at Mayo Clinic, and you know that represents more than 50,000 employees, that would not be able to respond immediately if asked, what's the value of Mayo Clinic? The needs of the patient come first. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing about being a doctor is the care that we provide to our patients. I think the Mayo uh, model of care, the Mayo approach, uh, which is really to put the needs of the patient foremost and to make that the, the center point of our, our practice, is really something that we focus on every single day. I see physicians, uh, healthcare staff, ancillary staff, everyone committed to one goal, which is the goal of giving the patient the best care possible. Multiple specialists helping taking care of the patient simultaneously, and I think that's where uh, the patients here really get the top-notch expert level care. Mayo is a leader in innovation in the science of healthcare delivery, and we have people who are working on developing the best models of care. I think it's an exciting time to be at Mayo Clinic because the healthcare landscape is changing rapidly. We need to develop systems that are sustainable and affordable. Mayo is on the cutting edge and involved in influencing healthcare policy on a national basis. And the good news is we do it right. And we do it right because it's physician-led and physicians who care about patients and who are collaborative. And so we're fortunate that our residents and fellows are able to train in this environment where they can learn these new models and be able to apply them in their day-to-day -day practices. What we have is the capability of translating discoveries and implementing them into clinical practice. It's that translation of the basic sciences to the clinical sciences that make Mayo unique. The institution translates that commitment tangibly by devoting considerable resources to research as well as to education where we train the next generation of researchers and clinicians that will work to uh, make healthcare better. Mayo is an excellent place to train. It is where residency programs are born. It is the largest medical graduate training program in the country. Mayo School of Graduate Medical Education has more than 250 individual programs. Individuals are working in pretty much every area and subspecialty of medicine. Experts down to the smallest subcategories of disease. Training that occurs is in departments that are recognized as among the very best in the world that span the three practice sites, Rochester, Minnesota, Jacksonville, Florida, and Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona. And there are opportunities for residents and fellows to participate in community-based care throughout the Mayo Health Systems. We have over 1,600 residents and fellows that train here. Even though it is a huge school, the fact is we focus it on the individual resident and fellow. A lot of the big city institutions, they're fantastic places to train, but sometimes there's a lot of competition over resources. Mayo's perfect because there are a lot of resources for everybody. While research is not a forced requirement, it is something that is supported. The clinical investigator program here at Mayo gives physicians the opportunity to become skilled and adept in clinical care for patients but at the same time gives them the opportunity to spend a block of, of time focused on basic or translational research. You're gonna be a, uh, not one step, but two or three steps ahead of somebody who trains someplace else. Another thing that I know our residents really love is the publications department. You have people who can help you on the front end accessing all the data and giving you access to the databases. We have people who help with statistics and then the publication department literally will do almost everything for you. If that paper is rejected by the journal, they will help you edit it to the next journal and they will help you address revisions. And I don't know any other institution in the country that does that. You get to go to meetings, you get to present at meetings, and you get to challenge yourself. When you go out and practice, there will be nothing that you can't handle or haven't seen or been exposed to.
I definitely feel as though I'm an integral part to patient care. Right from the beginning of the experience and training at Mayo, they are allowed to see patients, to participate in care of patients. There's lots of hands-on, one-on-one teaching with these experts. The bedside teaching, the dedication to the patients and to making the residents better, it makes you really happy to be here. In other places all over the world, they probably read these names of these great physicians, and here we are, we get to see them every day, so it's a fantastic way to be inspired. They match you up with mentors and research advisors, people who are just have accomplished themselves and are just there to help you. My mentor is one who I can talk to about my future goals, who is able to provide me with research projects if I'm interested in, and also with networking and connecting outside of the Mayo Clinic to help provide me the best education possible. When Mayo Clinic says that the needs of the patients come first, this is absolutely true. The education comes out of that, out of learning about the patients. Um, as they care for them, they really learn how they want to be doctors and the kinds of doctors they want to be. The biggest reason that I came to Mayo Clinic for residency um, was because of the, the depth and breadth of the education. We see the very rare, and we're talking about diseases where you have single digits case reports. The experience here is unparalleled. You will see level one trauma. We see people from all over the world, um, from all walks of life, with all kinds of medical conditions. However, you have a community as well, the people who are local. I was worried that I may not see the bread and butter. However, that has not been the case. I was really impressed that there was a, a culture of of caring for the physician. If they need help with other issues, stress, work-life balances, uh, they can uh, easily access somebody to, uh, to talk to them. The Dan Abraham Healthy Living Center is something that's readily available to residents. Includes an indoor track, multiple cardiovascular equipment as well as weight equipment. In addition, a pool for swimming laps as well as an aerobic fitness pool and multiple classes offered. The Mayo Clinic for at least two decades has invested in an electronic medical record. Far ahead of most of the rest of the country, patient providers at Mayo Clinic have electronic access to every bit of information on every patient. All laboratory studies, imaging studies are available online or archived, which promotes educational and research opportunities. iPads, iPhones, a whole variety of applications, those are all being brought to bear to provide better care for the patients. We don't have to write down uh, the lab values and different vital signs on a piece of paper that can get lost. We have it all on our iPad and can pull it up in current time. I'm able to pull up the same applications through the iPhone or wherever I'm at. In addition, Ask Mayo Expert is a system that was developed whereby the answers to common clinical questions can be sought in a database that includes expert opinions from Mayo physicians. The simulation center here at Mayo Clinic has multiple different rooms for simulation and the capabilities to tape all of the interactions that are going on. And the consultant leading the scenario takes you back through the video for constructive criticism and any feedback. It's one of the largest in the country. It involves all residencies and fellowships. You will interface with other residents and other faculty through the simulation center, and that's one of the highlights of the Sim Center. It really mimics real life. I think the training here is so superb that if I had to make the decision again, I would make it 100 out of 100 times. I've heard people say that Rochester is a small town with a big city feel. It's undergone radical change within the last decade. For a city of 100,000 people, there's a lot to do. For instance, uh, Thursdays on First is a lot of fun. There's entertainers outside, different vendors, and we get a lot of good musical artists. Long constellation of bike routes. Uh, rivers on which you can canoe. Neighborhood parks. World-class restaurants. Marathons. The Mayo Fellows Association. There's a great farmer's market. And triathlons. Ballroom and dancing. The art music. And, and the shopping. Beautiful wide open countryside. So there's plenty of opportunities to find people to be active with. We're also only about an hour and a half from the Twin Cities. There's so much to do in St. Paul and Minneapolis as well, so it really adds to the experience of being in Minnesota. People come from all parts of the world, all parts of the country, and yet they're very happy in Rochester. You definitely see people from 
just about every culture and ethnicity, so that adds to a lot of the different activities. And people bring a little bit of the rest of the world into the town. My role as a family member was very valued. It was just wonderful to have so many opportunities of ways to get involved. It is a fantastic place to live and raise a family. Uh, I can't think of a better place. It is a safe, safe community. I never feel financially strapped. I can eat out when I want to. I live in a very nice three-bedroom apartment. I have the opportunity to own my own home, a four-bedroom house with my own kitchen, attached two-stall garage, and a gorgeous view in the backyard. Given that we're able to own a house, we actually have an upright piano on our house, and it's a nice way to unwind at the end of a busy day. You can live almost anywhere in Rochester and be at work within Minutes. It's approximately seven and a half miles or about 13 minutes from my front door to the parking garage here at Mayo at about a two minute walk from the parking garage to the operating room and I'm at work. You really need to come and look at the people and talk to the people and, and see what, what you think of them. What's the feeling you get when you're here? I love living in Rochester.